Good evening, everybody. It's 7 o'clock on Wednesday, April 22nd. And so we are here to do our uh, tri-weekly evening devotion. I guess that's what you could call it. We'll wait just a few moments and see who hops on here. It seems like I've noticed that people tend to get on a couple of minutes into the stream, usually once I'm like halfway done with my scripture reading. So I'm gonna to try to wait a little bit longer tonight and see if we can get some of our regulars here before I begin so that y'all don't miss the beginning of it. I've been wondering what everybody's been up to during the days. I went to the grocery store today. That was kind of nice. I saw David's wife, Lori, while I was there. So that was good to connect with somebody that I know. We stayed a safe distance apart though, don't worry. I've also been doing a lot of cooking lately. That's been an upside to having lots of extra time at home is being able to try new recipes and spend time with things that aren't just quick meals. Um, it's easy to hop in the kitchen and prepare something and then go do some work and come back to it. And uh, I've been able to prepare some more complicated recipes that I usually don't get around to, so that's been fun. If anybody has any really good recipes that I should try, you should leave those in the comments for me. I'd love to see them. Okay, well, it's been a couple of minutes. I see we have somebody watching. I'm not sure who it is, but I see we've got a little number one with an eyeball up there. So we'll go ahead and begin with our scripture reading for tonight. Hi, Joy. Good to see you here. Uh, for scripture this evening, I have chosen a psalm. We're going to read from Psalm 61. Oh, there's my mom. She got off work, I guess. Hi, Mom. Um, and we've got Kina. Hi, Kina. Good to see you. So we are going to read from Psalm 61. Um, and again, I am using my hot pink version of the message and uh, I liked the version from my NRSV Bible as well. Hi Ellie. Um, but I don't know the language in the message I find interesting. It's just it's really different than how you're used to um, hearing scripture. I think it's much more modern language. It kind of helps me, I don't know, rethink the way that God might be speaking to me through scripture. So this um, is a short psalm, and we're actually only going to read verses 1 through 5. So if you want to look it up online with the message version, that's cool. Otherwise, whatever version you have is great. You can just listen. Uh, that's fine, too. So let us read. God, listen to me shout. Bend an ear to my prayer. When I'm far from anywhere... Down to my last gasp, I call out, guide me up high rock mountain. You've always given me breathing room, a place to get away from it all. A lifetime pass to your safe house, an open invitation as your guest. You've always taken me seriously, God, made me welcome among those who know and love you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So... I chose that because it was brief, but I think that it's really reassuring just to remember that God does give us what we need uh, when we are in times of distress. Um, God gives us breathing room. He gives us a place to express whatever is bothering us. Um, God gives us safe places. And uh, I liked that last line that you've taken me seriously and made me welcome among those who know and love you. It reminds me of our church families. And I hope that you guys feel welcome among God's people as well. So that was our scripture for today. Um, and then I've got a poem as well that I'd like to share with you. It's one of my favorite poems. And I uh, don't have this one in a book, but I know that it's available online. So I was gonna show you where I find that. So I'm gonna turn this around to my computer and I hope we're gonna see how well y'all can actually see my computer. Let's see if I can angle it down here. Okay, so we've got Google up and it's Earth Day. So we've got our nice little Google Earth Day thing here. 
And this poem is called God's Grandeur. Um, and it's by Gerard Manley Hopkins. And so you'll see the first result here is from poetryfoundation.org. And that's a really good website. If you're a person who likes poetry and you want free resources for poetry, you can come on here and there are lots of different poets. Um, and many of the poets have, I don't know, several to many poems on here for free. So you can look those up. Um, here, I think it actually has an option for you to listen to it, but I'm gonna read it to you. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how you can find that if you would like to look it up yourself at home. Um, it's easy to do and it's free. So now you know. Hi, Susan, good to see you. Okay, so I'm gonna read this poem to you now. Again, it's God's Grandeur by Gerard Manley Hopkins. The world is charged with the grandeur of God. It will flame out like shining from shook foil. It gathers to a greatness like the ooze of oil crushed. Why do men then now not wreck his rod? Generations have trod, have trod, have trod. And all is seared with trade, bleared, smeared with toil. And where's man's smudge and shares man's smell? The soil is bare now, nor can foot feel being shod. And for all this, nature is never spent. There lives the dearest freshness deep down things. And though the last lights off the black west went, Oh, morning, at the brown brink, eastward springs, because the Holy Ghost over the bent world broods with warm breast and with, ah, bright wings. So I've loved that poem for a long time. Um, I think part of what I love is just the way that Hopkins uses that really vivid imagery. The language is interesting and you kind of have to dig at it for a little while to get all of the meaning out I think but I thought it was appropriate for Earth Day because it talks about um, kind of the industrialization of the world and how humanity has changed the landscape of God's creation uh, you know we, d we don't feel the soil because our feet are shod we're wearing shoes um, all is seared with trade he says bleared smeared with toil but uh, he also says that nature is never spent and that the Holy Spirit is still here with us, brooding over the earth, um, caring for nature the way that God always has. So that is my poem for you today. And now uh, let's go to God in prayer as we close out our day. And that will be the end of our time together. Let's pray. Gracious, Giving God, we thank you for your creation today, especially as we celebrate Earth Day. We remember all that you have made and the gift that we see in nature around us. Lord, we praise you for the birds, the sea creatures, the pets that are in our homes with us, the green leaves that are unfurling on the trees, the flowers that are blooming, the bees that buzz around us. Help us to remember how to care for your creation, God, because you've appointed us stewards of your earth. We don't always take that role as seriously as we should, but now more than ever, I think we're seeing how important it is to care for your creation. Lord, be with us as we go about our daily lives, adjusting to our new normal ways. Help us to remember that your creation has been here from the very beginning of time and will continue on long after we're gone, that we're here for a brief portion of time. Help us to enjoy that. We pray all this in your son's name, amen. Okay guys, well thank you for joining me tonight. I hope that you enjoyed that poem. I hope that you um, will read that scripture from this evening. 
uh, from whatever version of the Bible you have or online. And I hope that you'll use uh, Poetry Foundation to look up more poems and discover uh, maybe writers that are new to you or enjoy some of your favorite poets that you didn't know you had access to. Um, I think that it's a really good resource. And I hope that you've had a good Earth Day, that you found some way to celebrate in whatever way that you wanted to. It's hot and humid here, so I didn't spend a lot of time outside, but um, I did get to go out for a brief period as I walked from my car to HEB through the parking lot, so that was something. And I've been looking at the pretty green grass through my windows all day. So I hope that you guys have a good night, and I will be back here with you on Friday. See you later. Bye-bye.